I learned a new language and made a game to promote the cleanup of the oceans, which in their current state are packed with trash. Like the Team Trees effort in 2019, creators Mark Rober and Mr. Beast team up yet again to start Team Seas, where $1 donated is one pound of garbage removed. And for Team Seas, I'm going to repeat my Team Trees contribution of donating $1. Okay, okay, I'll make a game instead. This time it's for the Sea Jam by Polly Mars, who sent me a link to join pretty early on. It's a month long, so I'll have plenty of time. The language I'll be using to make it is C++, which is a superset of C. No, not that kind of C. C++ adds things like classes to C, which on its own is a language that allows low-level control. Essentially, what this means for me is that I'll have to control memory allocation manually, and I'll be using a fairly popular and powerful library called Raylib, which will handle most of the heavy lifting, such as graphics. It wasn't easy, but I followed a couple of tutorials and managed to get MinGW up and running along with Raylib. I made some basic player movement with keyboard input. Uh, oops. As I continued to work on the basics, a simple game idea about ocean cleanup formed in my head. It's a high score based game where you need to slap trash out of various fish that have accidentally swallowed it, then bring it to the surface. Quickly I began making some placeholder instances of fish with some pretty awesome bobbing animations using a sine wave. Unfortunately, random spawning wasn't very straightforward for me to implement. To achieve random number generation, I had to manually set a seed and limit the completely random number to a range. Despite how disgusting it looks, it was works and I don't want to hear about any alternatives at this point. Anyway, the spawning's done. I also implemented slapping and a health system for each fish. Fish are also deleted from memory once out of bounds. I then made some placeholder drawings for the fish and dear lord they are awful. But it's a start. The next major hurdle I ran into was flipping fish horizontally based on direction. Sprites are loaded as textures and I couldn't really find many useful functions involving them. But I did find one that can flip images, so I went with this solution of converting each texture to an image and then flipping it, then converting it back as a new texture. After an inevitable two weeks of procrastination due to C++ just being hard, I decided enough was enough, and immediately sat down and speed ran the rest of development. I made new art, more fish, trash, music, and sound. Yeah. Really proud of that sound design. Now the game is pretty much done. I just need some feedback from my good friend Jelly Jam. So Jelly Jam, is my game fun? Finally, after adding one more piece of trash, I quickly compiled the game to Windows and submitted it to the jam a week before the deadline. Glad I didn't procrastinate the life out of this project and I'm happy with how it turned out. If you're a Windows user and you'd like to play, the link is down below. If you use Mac or Linux, sucks to suck because I still haven't figured out WebAssembly builds quite yet. Anyway, thank you for dedicating three minutes of your time to watching this mess. Subscribe or no other is other is no. Okay, hello there, Doorbell, who's currently editing this in the future, plus six hours. Wait, no. Wait, yeah. Wait, no. Wait, 